esophagus so in this we describe the competency the appearance relations blood supply nerve supply lymphatic drainage and applied anatomy of the esophagus esophagus is a muscular tube it is 25 to 28 cm long approximately 2 cm in diameter located between the lower border of laryngeal part of pharynx and cardiac part of stomach the start and end points of esophagus correspond to 6th cervical vertebra and 11th thoracic vertebra gastroesophageal junction corresponds to zygoid process of sternum anteriorly parts of esophagus the beginning 5 cm is esophagus is in the neck next approximately 17 to 18 cm in the mediastinum then it continues for 1 to 1.5 cm in diaphragm ending 2 to 3 cm of esophagus is in the abdomen the structure of the esophagus the esophagus consists of four layers in its wall that is mucosa submucosa musculus externa and adventitia mucosa non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium lines the esophageal lumen it has lamina propria and muscularis mucosa which are deep to the epithelium submucosa this layer is laden with blood vessels lymphatics and mucous plexus lamina triangle the muscles externa it consists of longitudinal and circular muscles longitudinal muscle fibers are superficial the circular muscles are deep in location longitudinal muscle fibers begin from the posterior surface of pericardial cartilage and form a triangle called lamia triangle the triangle is limited by longitudinal muscle fibers laterally and the cricopharyngeus muscle superiorly kilian's triangle it is also found in this area its borders are formed by inferior constrictor muscles of pharynx and cricopharyngeus weaker areas are important in the formation of juncus diverticula the circular fibers are located deep to the longitudinal fibers circular fibers are not actually circular in all parts of the esophagus spontaneous perforation of esophagus usually occurs in the last 2 cm the upper part of esophagus consists of striated muscles and the lower part consists of smooth muscle fibers the transition zone differs in man the upper quarter consists of striated muscle fibers second quarter consists of both striated and smooth muscle fibers lower half consists of only smooth muscle fibers oibax plexus is located in this layer between the circular and the longitudinal muscle layers adventitia this layer surrounds most of the esophagus because no zero no zero is is found in the esophagus infections of tumors can spread easily narrowing and cur are curves of the and curves of the esophagus esophagus has seven narrowing points that can be seen using esophagoscopy or bearin swallow four classic narrowings are found in almost all people three other narrowings found in certain medical conditions first classical is the beginning of the esophagus that is oropharyngeal muscle forms it it is located 15 cm from the maxillary central incisor teeth topographically it corresponds to the body of the sixth cervical vertebra this narrowing is named as upper esophageal sphincter second narrowing corresponds to superior border of the manubrium anterior and posterior esophageal walls come closer in hyperflexion of the neck and partially narrowing point occurs 
The third narrowing point or the second classical narrowing is made by IoT Kach. It is located 22.5 cm from the maxillary central incisor teeth. Fourth narrowing, which is also called as third classical narrowing, located at the crossing point of esophagus and the left bronchus. 27.5 cm from the maxillary central incisor teeth. Fifth narrowing is formed if the patient has atrial dilatation caused by mitral stenosis. This point is located just below the bronchial narrowing. The sixth narrowing is called Lehman narrowing. It is located at the second crossing point of esophagus and iota. This point is located at a plane corresponding to upper edge of 10 thoracic vertebra. Lehman narrowing occurs in situation of aortic atherosclerosis. Seventh narrowing, the fourth classical narrowing, it is made of esophageal hiatus that originates from right crust of diaphragm. Located at the level of 11th thoracic vertebra and 40 centimeters from the maxillary central incisor teeth. The lower sphincter consists of a physiological sphincter mechanism made by muscle fibers of the right test of diaphragm, it provides an anti-reflex mechanism. When a person is not eating, esophageal lumen is closed above the lower esophageal sphincter. Curvatures. Esophagus is primarily median and vertical, but has three slight curves located in the neck, behind left bronchus and at the bifurcation of trachea. Esophagus is located to the left of midline at the level of 1st thoracic vertebra. To the right of midline at the level of 6th thoracic vertebra. And to the left of midline again at the level of 10th thoracic vertebra. Esophagus makes a reverse yes, all the way in front of vertebral column. Narrowing of the curves are important landmarks for radiological, endoscopic investigation of abnormalities, cancer diagnosis and stricture formation following swallowing of the chemicals. Esophagus is anatomically divided into three parts that is cervical, thoracic and abdominal esophagus. Cervical esophagus. It starts at the inferior margin of the cricoid cartilage. This level is marked by carotid tubercula named chasing tubercula, an important landmark in cervical esophagoscopy, esophagotomy. Cervical esophagus ends at the inferior edge of the first thoracic vertebra and the jugular notch of the manubrium sternum. It is 5 to 6 cm long. Relations. It is between the trachea anteriorly and vertebra posteriorly. Esophagus is attached to the deep layer of deep fascia of the neck which forms retropharyngeal and retroesophageal spaces. Esophagus is covered by larynx and trachea anteriorly. Covering is partial and an opening is found on the left anterior side which provides natural surgical access. Relations Esophagus attaches to the tracheoesophageal muscle fibers of the trachea. Esophagus is closer structure, closer structure, esophagus closer structure is carotid artery anterior laterally. Inferior thyroid artery, thyroid lobes, recurrent laryngeal nerves and other important relations of esophagus or other important relations of esophagus. Thoracic duct lies on left side of it. Esophagus is related to cervical vertebra, paravertebral muscles posteriorly. The importance of relations in the cervical region. Sagittal septa which forms the retropharyngeal and retroesophageal spaces block Diffusion of abscess to this uh, diffusion of abscess of this area to superior mediastinum. But abscess can diffuse via pretracheal space to the superior mediastinum and can cause fatal complication. Recurrent laryngeal nerve lies in the tracheoesophageal sulcus and esophagus is close to this nerve and is an important in case of cervical esophagotomy. 
thoracic esophagus. It is measuring 16 to 18 centimeters in long, in length, located in the superior and posterior mediastinum, running from first to 11th thoracic vertebra. It does not fit the concavity of the vertebral column. However, it changes location to the left gradually from start to the end. The most important relation in this region is the thoracic duct, which lies behind the esophagus. Thoracic esophageal relations. Anterior relations include trachea, aortic arch, right pulmonary artery, left main bronchus, plexus of esophagus, pericardium, and left atrium. Posterior relations include the posterior side of esophagus is related to vertebral column, posterior intercostal arteries, azagous vein, hemiazagous vein, iota, posterior vagal nerve, and pleura. Left relations, aortic arch, left subclavian artery, left recurrent laryngeal nerve, left vagus nerve, thoracic duct, and thoracic part of iota. Right relations, azagous vein, pleura mediastinum, right main bronchus, right vagus nerve. Importance of relations. Close proximity of the upper two-thirds of esophagus to thoracic duct increases the risk of thoracic duct injury in the middle and upper mediastinal sections of the esophagus. Dissection. Upper and middle and upper mediastinal dissection of esophagus. At a level of a, a, a diaphragmatic hiatus, a soft areola tissue connects esophagus to diaphragmatic crura and a slight concave area formed is called as portal concavity and that allows the formation of hiatal hernia. Importance of relations, superior mediation becomes narrower above hiatic arch. Esophageal tumors can easily infiltrate left recurrent laryngeal nerve and respiratory system. However, aortic arch, azagous vein, block tumors in these areas to infiltrate lower part of mediastinum. Lower parts of thoracic esophagus are surrounded by soft area tissue. Here, esophagus is not touching any adjacent organs and descends slightly away from the vertebral column making dissection and resection easier and tumor infestation more difficult in this area. Abdominal esophagus. Abdominal esophagus is 1 to 2.5 cm long and is topographically located at 11th vertebral spine, plane, 11th vertebral plane. The plane passes through the 7th rib cartilage and sternum anteriorly. It passes through Esophageal hiatus of diaphragm, which is comprised of muscular fibers of right crust. Three ligaments connect esophagus to spleen, liver, and diaphragm, and they are hepatogastric, gastrosplenic, and gastrophrenic ligament. Relations the following structures are related to near the abdominal esophagus. Posterior side of segment of liver, left vagus, esophageal plexus anteriorly. Left and right crust of diaphragm, iota and inferior phrenic, left inferior phrenic artery posteriorly, chorea lobe of liver at the right side and fundus of the stomach on the left side. Esophageal hiatus. It is located on the right side of, uh, it is located on the right side of midline, and is two centimeters in diameter. It is located at the tenth vertebral plane. Before reaching hiatus, esophagus dilates at a place called epithetic ampulla, that is delaying point of morsel when swallowing during the radiological examinations. Anti-reflex mechanism, esophagus ends at a place called cardiac stomach. Right side of esophagus continues as lesser curvature of stomach, left side angles with greater curvature of stomach, forming angle of his. A mucosal tongue descends into stomach is called as Gubarov's valvula. His angle and Gubarov's valvula are important in anti-reflex mechanism. 
phrenoesophageal ligament is the primary part of anti reflex mechanism that includes gubrous valvula and angular face supports of esophagus the fibrotic membrane that attaches esophagus to the vertebral column is called as botylous membrane botylous membrane the phrenogastric ligament lies between the diaphragm and the cardiac stomach and both vagus nerves vagus nerves hang esophagus to thoracic cavity cutting vagus nerve elongates vagus uh, elongates esophagus 4 to 5 cm arteries of the esophagus inferior thyroid artery provides primary arterial flow to cervical esophagus thoracic portion of the esophagus takes blood from aorta bronchial arteries right intercostal arteries abdominal esophagus is fed by left gastric artery short gastric arteries and descending branch of left phrenic artery the veins of the vagus esophagus venous system of eso esophagus begins at submucosal plexus which perforates muscular layer and empties into esophagus system cervical portions of the venous drainage empty into inferior thyroid veins thoracic portion venous drainage empties into esophagus vein and right bronchocephalic vein right brachiocephalic vein venous drainage of the abdominal portions empties primarily into the left gastric veins varices of esophagus lower esophageal veins connect to superior caval system lower esophageal veins connect to superior caval system by esophagus and hemiesophagus veins in multiple stunts and other multiple stunts are located between inferior caval system and the lower esophagus retrograde flow of esophageal venous blood causes venous irritation and varices and these varices can cause fatal bleeding lymphatic drainage lymphatics are located in every layer of esophagus but primarily at lamina propria forming a joint network of system cervical lymphatics empty into internal jugular lymph nodes and upper trachea lymph nodes lymphatics in the of the thoracic esophagus empty into posterior parietal and diaphragmatic and abdominal parts of lymphatic system empty into left gastric and paracardiac lymph nodes innervation the parasympathetic and sympathetic innervation from forming esophageal innervation carrying stimuli to esophageal muscles glands and veins and arteries parasympathetic innervation esophageal innervation is primarily accomplished by vagus nerves which end at dorsal vagal nuclear brain cervical esophagus takes thin fibers from both recurrent laryngeal nerves thoracic esophagus is primarily innervated with the left vagus nerve vagus nerves but the upper part of thoracic esophagus takes some fibers from left recurrent laryngeal nerve vagus nerve fibers form two or four branches under tracheal bifurcation these nerve branches are located on the anterior surface of esophagus esophagus at the level of posterior mediastinum near esophageal hiatus these nerve branches unite and form two vagal trunks of esophagus variation in the vagal trunks is an important is important during vagotomy sympathetic innervation the upper part of esophagus is innervated by pharyngeal plexus which is fed by superior and middle cervical ganglion the superior par, uh, parts of thoracic esophagus are innervated by stellate and ansa stellate ganglion and ansa subclavia lower parts of thoracic esophagus are innervated by greatest flanknic that end in celiac plexus thank you